Hi everyone. Today I am going to stray a little bit from my usual topics to talk about a word. And that word is privilege. So it used to be that I didn't really hear this word very often. You'd hear it in speeches and like when you're watching a TV show and, and there's a lawyer and they're talking about privileged information and um, let's see, uh, someone who's immune to arrest and certain um, uses of the word can mean that. So the actual definition of privilege is a special right, advantage or immunity granted or available only to a particular person or group. So privilege is something that is only given to certain people. All right. Now, recently, I've been hearing this word a lot more and in a context that doesn't really sit very well with me. And it's within the context of people having a job. More and more people are saying that it is a privilege to have a job, which I disagree with entirely, completely. Because that is so far outside of the definition of the word privilege. Because a job is something that pretty much every person or family needs in this world, the way that we have created it. You need money to buy food, to pay for a home, uh, clean water, electricity, all of these things. And in order to get money, you have to have a job. So a job is supposed to be at least a right. It's something that everyone should have available to them so that they can make sure that they can actually keep being alive, right? How did we get to the point where now having a job is so unusual and rare and special that it is now a privilege where you are not guaranteed finding a job and also what comes up a lot is if you are so lucky as to find a job if you get treated badly or if you don't get paid as much as as the standard industry or if uh, you don't get tea and coffee breaks like other workplaces get, then you should just keep quiet and just be grateful that you have a job. That's what people are saying to each other. Just deal with the the little things that you don't like, like your boss being an asshole. Um, your boss underpaying you, being verbally abused. If it's not outright breaking the law, then just, just deal with it. Just suck it up and do what you got to do because you're lucky that you have a job in the first place. That to me is so completely wrong. It, it's, it's past the point of it being unacceptable into the point of being it's wrong it, it things shouldn't be this way and the fact that they are this way is not a testament to our economy or our government or greedy corporations it's a testament to who we are because we have created this world system we have collectively made an agreement that it's okay if jobs are so rare that they've become a privilege. And it's okay for you to be abused and underpaid and misused in a job because you're lucky to have one in the first, in the first place. There are more people who are okay with the way that things are now and who are unwilling to do anything to change it, and who are unwilling to change their own behavior within this global society 
there are more people doing that than there are people saying that this is not acceptable. Than there are people who are living the change that they want to see in the world. People who are being kind, being generous, treating each other well, giving each other what they would like if they were in that position. So, it's time for us to very seriously reconsider how we've been using this word privilege. Because having a job should be a right and not a privilege. And in a lot of places, it actually is stipulated as a right in the constitution of a country but not necessarily enforced and maybe there is low unemployment rates but the jobs that people do have are so menial and pay so little that they may as well not have a job so it's not about blaming other people or the world system or corporations. It's about us reflecting on how we have been a part of creating this world to be how it is. Each of us is individually responsible for how we are participating in the world. Are we cheating our fellow man or are we honoring each other? Are we treating each other with respect and with integrity? Are we trying to um, skim a little off the top? Or are we practicing all parts of our lives the word integrity? Are we deceive, deceitful? Are we manipulative? Or are we trustworthy and honest? These are the things that are part of creating the world. If you have 7 billion people who are only out to, um, to look after themselves, uh, who are living as if it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, who are willing to do whatever it takes to get by, then the creation of that collective 7 billion people is not going to be pretty. But if you have 7 billion people who are treating themselves and each other with respect, who are um, considerate, kind, who acknowledge the rights of every living being to be alive and to have a comfortable life, who live the words integrity, honesty. Well, that would create somewhat of a different picture now, wouldn't it? So that is where each of us can take responsibility in our personal lives. We can live in the way that we know would create a better world if everyone were living that way. It doesn't matter if we're the only ones doing it. It doesn't matter if I'm alone in this, because I want to be a part of creating a better world. It's not about anyone else doing or not doing it that's going to determine whether I am. I'm doing it because I know that I can be better and I can be part of creating change, even if it's just one out of seven billion. All right, that is all I have to say on that subject for now. <laughs> so if you'd like to support me, you can do so on Patreon. The link is below. Otherwise, if you have any requests, uh, if you'd like me to elaborate on anything, if you have any questions, send me a direct message or leave a comment. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.